Hello everyone, just a quick video about adhesion and cohesion. These are two sort of fancy terms that we use for one way of classifying intermolecular forces. Intermolecular forces being the forces between molecules, not inside of a molecule. So opposed to intramolecular, this would be intermolecular forces. Cohesion, co cohesive forces are forces between uh, like molecules, so molecules of the same substance. Adhesive forces would be the forces between molecules of, of different substances. One of the chores that is my chore to do is that I wash dishes. And uh, when you're washing dishes, you run uh, across adhesive forces all the time. Let's say uh, if I have a water in some kind of a cup and I'm washing it. And so, of course, you use soap and then you, then you rinse it. When you, when you pour everything out of the cup, you find out that still inside there are some water droplets and you might turn it around and the water droplets are still inside there's, so there's water still stuck to the sides of the cup and uh, so these are forces between or this is a demonstration of forces between the molecules of water and the molecules of the glass which is usually silicon oxide quite strong of a force I mean it's um, it's overcoming the force of gravity pulling the the water molecule is down. So the fact that the molecule, that the, that the water is actually staying there, that it's not falling, you can see the drop here on the very bottom. There's a, there's a drop. If you can see it, it's right here. But it's not coming down. So it's stuck to the glass, uh, overcoming the force of gravity that's trying to bring it to the ground. So those are cohesive, sorry, those are ad adhesive forces. Adhesion is when two different substances are sticking together. Um, we even you know, when we speak of glues, we, we use the term adhesives. Glues are called also adhesives. Cohesive forces are the forces between molecules of the same substance. The cohesive forces between molecular waters are um, some of the strongest examples of or are the strongest intermolecular forces. When I pour water into this into this test tube I can get the water higher than the, the actual test tube, go, test tube goes and you've seen this before um, that you can get the surface of the water sort of to stick its head out of the test tube or out of a cup and it's the surface tension that's holding the water there um, that it's not allowing to sort of spill it uh, out of the over the the edge of the of the test tube so it's kind of looks like a bubble there and the, the these are the tension forces on the surface of the of the water those are the forces between the water molecules cohesive forces there's a lot of bugs that like slide on the surface of water and they're taking advantage of these surface tension forces between the molecules of water which are cohesive forces Perhaps you've seen this or not, if you're using a measuring cylinder and you pour the water in there, it's not so easy to read what the level of the water is because the surface of the water is not exactly straight. It's sort of curved up to the sides where the, the glass, the attractions, the adhesive forces between the, the, the molecules of the glass and of the water are acting. So the water sort of rises up on the edges. It's called a meniscus. A good example of both adhesion and cohesion is a burning candle. So we have the melted wax in there. When I was little, I used to wonder how this all happens. Because it's, it looks like the wick is burning. And I was wondering how, how is it that the wick can burn for so long. But it's not really the, the wick right now that's burning, it's the wax that's in the wick. And how does the wax get into the wick? So there must be adhesive forces between the molecules in the wick and the wax. So I don't know exactly how to explain this well, but the wax is sort of drawn into the wick. And as a molecule of wax, imagine a molecule of 
of uh, wax climbing into the wick and because of the cohesive forces it's sort of pulling the other wax molecules with it up and uh, it wouldn't be able to go up if there were no forces between the wick and the wax those would be the adhesive forces so a burning candle is a, is a good example of both adhesion and and cohesion as well adhesive and cohesive forces are very important for plants the sort of the cooperation or the, the play of both of these types of forces makes it uh, possible for water to be drawn into a plant uh, up to a certain height beyond which let's say in, in tall trees there are other things at play to get the water all the way to the top of the tree but capillary action depends on cohesive and adhesive forces and there are many things uh, around us that that have to do with with cohesion and adhesion